What's up, guys? Today's class is going to be on my finances as an international student here in Japan at Kyushu University in Fukuoka. So, of course, the number one most important thing is you got to have somewhere to live. So that's rent. I live in a student dorms. Uh, it's dormitory one. It is the cheapest one. Um, so that does help out a lot. But you've got the base rent here. You pay a facility fee that kind of covers the common room. Inside there, you can use the AC. They've got freezers that you can use as well. Uh, this whiteboard, which I borrowed from there, um, that covers that. And there's 3300 every month that I pay for internet. That is through NASIC Nets. Um, you have an option to do that if you want. You don't have to, but it's something that I choose because I like internet. I think everybody would want internet, but if you have maybe a mobile plan and you don't have you know, a PC or a laptop, you may not want to get that. So next thing is the power. For me, I use a little bit more power than most people. Um, I have a huge PC. Um, it's summer, so I use my AC a lot. I like it cold when I sleep. So I usually turn it all the way down to about 16 degrees Celsius. So it fluctuates around 5,000. Uh, now that it's summer, it's a little bit more. Um, back when it was winter, it was a little bit less but usually it averages about 5,000 yen per month. Next is insurance. Uh, this is something that everybody who comes into Japan has to pay. It's health insurance as part of the national health plan. And so that's about 3,500 per month. Um, I went ahead and paid mine all up front because I forget about things. I've forgotten about plenty of bills since I've been here and I've paid them late. So don't, don't do that. If you come here, make sure to remember your bills. You pay them in paper at the convenience store, so it takes some time and some effort to go do that. I'm used to just paying things online automatically, so it was a big change for me. $3,500, excuse me, 3,500 yen a month, $3,500 would be crazy. Um, next is food. This is something that varies a lot. Um, I cook a lot in the dorm here, um, but the meals in the cafeteria are really cheap too. I budget myself roughly 500 yen for every meal, times three, that's 1,500. And then that'll be 4,500 times 30 days every month. Uh, you know, sometimes I can spend 1,500 or more in a single meal. Um, sometimes, you know, I won't eat breakfast. I'll just do like a protein shake. Sometimes I'll skip breakfast and lunch if I'm really busy. You know, that budget kind of goes up and down. So for you, this may vary a lot. It may be more towards maybe 2,000, 3,000 a day if you eat a ton. Um, sometimes if you go out with friends, especially on the weekends, that price can really, really add up along with travel, which is my next thing. Um, to go into the city, there's Tenjin, which is the main place that people will go when they say that they want to go out here in Fukuoka. I think that costs 530 yen to get there, which means it would be 530 yen to get back. From the school to the train station, there's a bus that you can take, and it's 330 yen there, also 330 yen back. Most of the time, my friends and I will get together and just ride our bikes. It's about 15 minutes to the train station by bike ride, so that saves 660 for the round trip, and it cuts down on that travel cost a little bit. Also, there's a bus that goes directly from the campus of Kyushu University to Tenjin or Hakata, which is like the main station where you've got the bullet train, uh, like a big bus station. It's kind of like the travel hub if you want to go elsewhere outside of Fukuoka. They've got that, and I believe that's like 730 yen. Don't quote me on that, but it's over 700 yen, less than 800 yen. Um, and I think Tenjin and Hakata, there's maybe like a 50 yen difference between the two just because there's a little bit of distance. But that's also something that's nice because, you know, if you don't have a bike and, you know, you want to avoid paying 330 for the bus and 530 for the train, you can just take the, the bus all the way there. Um, and that's like 700 something. It is a different bus. It does not go to the train station. It goes a different direction. So be careful not to hop on that. And then fun. You know, this, this could be anything. Um, like I said, going out with friends, uh, I do that a decent amount. Although I've been super, super busy lately, which is why I haven't really posted any videos. But, you know, I've got some time again. And so I'm hoping to get back on that grind. I want to kind of make a video talking about this this time that I had in between where I wasn't making videos. Anyways, um, this varies greatly. Sometimes, honestly, I've spent this in a night. Sometimes I don't spend this at all each month. Um, 
it's just an estimate. Honestly, it's really hard to, to kind of grasp the food, travel, and fun. But I, I did my best to kind of, you know, I rounded up, I think it was two or three months of expenditures. And I kind of got these numbers and I rounded them to nice, pretty numbers. So, you know, it made more sense to you guys. And I came up to the total of 96,500 yen. I didn't realize this until I was editing the video, but I messed up on insurance and water. One, I didn't even put the water in there. And two, the figure for insurance should be the figure for water. I'll go ahead and put the correct figures up on screen for you. Now, when I had calculated all of these, actually at the time, it was like 643 US dollars. Now it's only 605. However, I'm not sure which country you guys come from, what currency you have, uh, what this might equate to. I figured most people would kind of understand what the U.S. dollar is, so I wanted to put that here, um, as well as, you know, the yen value, which is what I spend. But honestly, overall, you know, the food, travel, and fun aside, just the existence cost of being here as an international student is relatively low. Um, now, I am an exchange student, which means the tuition that I pay is the tuition that I would pay in America. So that's for my college. Like if I have scholarships, you know, say it brings tuition from 10,000 down to 5,000 and I come over here, I still pay 5,000. Coming over here will not change my tuition. It will not change yours if you do the exchange program. If you come over here as, you know, an international student, somebody who enrolls directly into Kyushu University, you will pay whatever their tuition is. I don't know exactly what that is. I'm sure that changes over the years maybe. Um, but this right here is without tuition, right? This is just for me as a JTW student um, in the exchange program. So take this as kind of a, a guideline for the monthly expenditures that you will have to pay outside of school costs. Um, the books can add up sometimes. Um, I had to buy a lot of books for my Japanese courses last semester. Um, I'm not taking any Japanese courses this semester. I elected to do self-study, and personally, I think I get a lot more out of that than the classes. That's not to say that the classes weren't helpful, but I go at a quicker pace when I study by myself, and I really want my Japanese to improve as quickly as possible. So I felt like the homework that I was doing and the work that I was doing in those classes almost bogged me down a bit from my schedule outside of class. And I can kind of, you know, do more if I want or do less if maybe I'm a little busy. And it's fun. I, f I find studying Japanese um, quite fun. And maybe, you know, maybe I'll make a video on that as well. I think there's some really, really helpful tools that I've learned from some of the, the people who I've met along my way here. Um, my sensei back at University of Georgia gave me some really good apps as well. So yeah, I, I will make an app on, on how to study Japanese by yourself because if you come here, I think that's really important. But overall, here's what I have of getting off track all different kinds of ways. If you guys have got any questions about how this might change or what you might have to spend if you're at a different dorm somewhere, please put that down in the comments and uh, I'll answer them as soon as possible to the best of my ability. If not, uh, maybe I can get in touch with somebody else who can help answer that. But I'd like to think that I'm somewhat capable. Who knows? But uh, thanks for stopping by and seeing me again. It's been a while, and uh, I look forward to the next one. See you guys.